I'm sad and shocked to hear about the explosions at the Boston Marathon because I ran the Boston Marathon in 1995 and I know what it's like to finish exhausted and cold and so to imagine that these explosions have happened, runners have been killed and people injured, it's so sad and as a faith leader I think this is an opportunity for us to pray for these folks and to really rally around the community in Boston. Times of tragedy are opportunities for us in the faith community to express our love and also work for nonviolent love in the world. And every night before I go to bed, I read the 23rd Psalm. And this is a Psalm that my mother used to read with me at night that's very meaningful. But in verse four of Psalm 23, it says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And in this time of sadness and sorrow, we in the faith community offer words of comfort and words of hope to all those who have lost loved ones in Boston. My prayers are with the, the runners, the families who have grieved, the people of Boston, and we will see this as an opportunity not to um, get bogged down in tragedy once again in our, our nation, but see how can we transfigure this tragedy into a, a way to work for hope, a way to work for love, and a way to work for God's shalom in our world.